Hi guys and welcome back to Rich Reviews and today you join me on a very frosty New Year's Eve. Let's have a look at the garden. So today I just wanted to say thank you very much to my loyal subscribers who supported us over the year of 2020, the start of the channel. And we intend to really grow the channel to move the channel forward now into 2021 and our target for 2021 is 1000 subscribers. Currently we're around the 226 subscribers at the moment. We fluctuate around that, that and we, we gain sort of a few subscribers every day, every couple of days. Um, so we're looking to really move the channel forward and really grow it into 2021. And so today I want to say thank you very much to my loyal subscribers. If you're not already subscribed, then please think about doing so. Great new content to come on the 458. Um, and also on some other as well on horology and some other sections. Although, we, as I said before, in one of my other videos, we may be moving that into uh, separate channels. Also, if you want to receive notifications of all future incoming videos, please select all to receive those notifications. So also today, I want to talk to you about the changes that are gonna to occur to the garage to accommodate the 458. And these changes um, relate to modifications to the internal part of the garage to increase the width, the internal width of the garage, due to the changes that were made to the garage many, many years ago to extend it, not in effect not removing the internal garage door um, sections and pillars and also a change to the garage door from an up and over um, to increase the width of the garage opening uh, to a sectional door. So we're in a garage here and you see the 458 in the background. Um, if you look at the temperature gauge it's around minus two outside in the garage it's minus one and this is the humidity level so it's 88 percent humid obviously it's, it's the little logo there it says wet that's not good obviously when you're storing a supercar even though it's aluminium it will still potentially can corrode so we've got to reduce the humidity in the garage um, and how we're going to do that is first of all I expect out a dehumidifier and that will be arriving in the next few days the main changes that are going to occur are to seal the garage out better regards the up and over garage door I'm converting that into a sectional garage door um, the sectional garage door will also improve the width access for the garage because we won't have the impingements that you have with the springs for the up and over garage door in reducing the width and also changes to the internal old garage door opening um, will be will be done as well now if we just move forward and have a look here many years ago and um, before my time um, before my time of purchasing the cottage that is um, the garage was extended the garage was extended from this point to this point so you're looking about an additional 10 feet that the garage was extended 10 to 12 feet now the people that made the changes or the people that owned the property beforehand for some reason they didn't remove the old garage opening this garage opening is exactly the same as it was when they extended the garage in effect they left, left the opening as is these measurements are exactly the same as the as a new garage opening now this causes impediments, obviously this causes in, infringements with regards to getting the 458 in and out, so concerns with regards to banging the mirrors, banging the doors when you open the doors, when the car's in the garage, etc. So it's not good. And I've always, I've, ever since I've owned the cottage, I've thought about removing this. Um, now I have the opportunity to do that because to put in the new sectional door, the new sectional door requires rails that come on the inside of the garage opening um, further back to circa about here. Now obviously this impedes those rails, so this has to be removed. So part of the building work that's going to be carried out is there's a, this lintel is going to be removed, a new steel lintel is going to be put in um, and it's going to be up higher and this will all be removed as well. This all this um, uh, ledge framework will be removed. This lintel will be moved up higher as a, and a steel lintel will be put in. Um, and that will be put in across onto these columns therefore this can then be removed so the old garage opening will be removed um, and that will then uh, allow access for the new sectional door rails to come forward and um, for the new sectional door to be fitted in addition this the new opening if we can call it that the new garage door opening will be increased in width with this being cut back um, the lintel on here uh, is extended enough to be able to provide the capability. I think it's 300 millimeters that can be cut back from each side and we still have plenty of structural strength with the lintel that's already in there. At the end of the day, that's only supporting this part. This lintel will be supporting the whole rest of this section. So the garage door will be cut back circa around 300 millimeters each side, which will allow a wider sectional door to be fitted in, I believe providing me eight foot width 
even I should be able to get the 458 in easily with an eight foot clearance, with eight foot clearance as a, as a garage door opening. So those are the changes that are going to occur and we'll be documenting those changes. And when the builder comes in and actually makes the changes to this old garage opening, that will be done first of all. And I'll be coordinating then on the following day, the new sectional door to be fitted. And obviously in addition, I'll be coordinating the car being stored away during those two days to make sure the car is nowhere near the work that's being performed for obvious reasons. Um, and then later on, I'll be making some changes to the garage to actually, um, I'll be boarding out the garage to insulate it, um, which will require a, a, a sort of temporary timber frame put in inside the garage and then insulation put behind um, or in between the actual sections on the, where the timber frame is and then um, plasterboarded, um, the, the new version of plasterboarding that you can get and then taped in between the gaps um, and then painted. So we'll have um, it sealed out a lot better to reduce the moisture and, re and increase the temperature and it's in this garage. But first of all, as I've mentioned, dehumidifier coming in a couple of days, I'll spec that out. I'll do some details on what the actual de dehumidifier is that I'm that I've bought and how it works and also um, the reason behind my purchase of that particular model because I've had one before and it failed. So um, we just move back to the front of the car. So we'll do a review video of 2020 in the next video which we'll probably re be releasing tomorrow or, or definitely within the next few days. But of course, the, um, to highlight the biggest changes of 2020, obviously we've had the virus situation, it's impacted a lot of us, but the big, biggest change for me was selling my beautiful 993S that I've had for 12 years, my immaculate Porsche 911, um, and replacing it with the 458 Spider. There was a sequence of events that had to occur to make it feasible to actually bring the 458 into the garage. Um, so it was a very scary moment selling the 993S um, when still certain events needed to take place before I could actually procure the right 458. Um, so I had to have a lot of confidence in myself and, and the ability to actually achieve those items and thankfully they did come off. So um, for me, uh, very fortunate and I'm very thankful that I've been able to actually convert the 993S into the 458 Spider. I'll always love that 993S and maybe in some day in the future if I if I um, if things go well and if the opportunity arises then I'll buy a 993S again in the future but at the moment the only way I could um, get the funds together for the 458 was to sell a 993S but um, I still kind of miss that 993S and, and that will always you know be have a place in my heart I know that sounds weird to a lot of you but that car I lived that car for 12 years and, and absolutely loved it but you know if you want a Ferrari you've got to make changes and that was a necessary change so hopefully my uh, my Porsche subscribers don't um, don't berate me too much for that anyway um, so um, that was uh, that was one of the biggest changes of course in in uh, 2020 the the selling of the Porsche 911 993s um, to make way for the 458 Spider. so um, that's it that just wanted to say this message to you thanks a lot for subscribing to all my loyal subscribers if you aren't subscribed please think about doing so please select all so you receive notifications of all future incoming videos and join us in the journey going forward into 2021 and the movement to gain 1,000 subscribers. Hopefully you'll be able to share my videos and be great if you can to assist us in that to be able to move the channel up to 1,000 subscribers and beyond. Thanks a lot for watching guys as always. Have a fantastic New Year's Eve celebrations and a fantastic 2021. Let's hope that 2021 is a lot better year for all of us. Thanks very much guys. Thanks for watching and see you in 2021 and in the next video.